Okay, so I made an awful choice in clothing today. A cardigan is, uh, yeah, for shooting this video, a terrible, terrible idea. It is so hot inside of this vehicle right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome back to Tessa's Wild. If you're new here, my name is Colin. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider liking and subscribing below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It truly means the world to me. One quick reminder, there's a comment pinned below with timestamps so you can hop to the video and view the portions most relevant to you. All right, so today we are back with another product review and install for the Tesla Model 3. Not really an install, more of a review and a test. So I bought a few products from this company called Bouge RV lately from Amazon. They just came out with a new product, a sunshield or a sunshade for the Tesla Model 3. So I'm currently sitting out in a parking lot. It's 101 degrees outside. It's very hot in this cabin and I'm giving these a test. So what I wanna do is what I'm doing right now. I'm sitting in a parking lot without the sunshades, seeing how hot the car gets over a 20 minute period. And then we're gonna install the sunshades and do the exact same test. The glass is super cool, but uh, yeah, it lets in a lot of light, a lot of UV, which means a lot of heat inside the vehicle. The other thing is this top glass panel is treated with the UV treatment. Some lucky Tesla Model 3 owners, usually early models, also had the entire back window treated with this UV treatment. I was not so lucky. It's only this top panel, but I'll show a picture of this now. But yeah, so we're going to test this sunshade that goes in the main upper window as well as the back window from Bouge RV and see how well of a job it actually does in a very, very hot day like it is right now. So if this sounds interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned and we'll get on to testing and uh, reviewing this product. All right, so these are the sunshades from Bouge RV that has come all taped and wrapped up like this. So we're going to get it all opened up and get these out so you can see what they look like. Okay, so it looks like it comes in a very nice carrying case here. And then we have some clips, it looks like. Hmm, very interesting. So these maybe are to clip these guys in, I'm not really sure. One big one for the rear window and one small one for the upper window, I believe. So these are enormous. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get them installed and I'll show you exactly how they look. They are kind of see-through. As you can see, they're kind of this uh, perforated fabric. All right, so as we can see, we did get the sunshade installed in the main middle panel here, as well as all the way in the back. They are sized that you can basically just kind of pressure fit them in with these metal ridges around the side. They seem like they're great quality. All right, so it is currently 3.35 p.m. It is 101 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's hot af. Uh, the interior of the cabin is currently reading at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. 68, 69 has been bouncing back and forth. I've parked in this park that's pretty close to my location and uh, the sun is basically centered in the top glass roof here, transitioning between the back. Um, I wanted to wait till the hottest part of the day. So we are just gonna wait in the car for about 20 to 30 minutes, and I'm gonna turn the AC off, and we're gonna see how hot the car gets without these roof covers. So I'm gonna turn the AC off, and we're gonna see how hot it gets. Okay, so it's only been eight minutes. It's still 101 degrees Fahrenheit outside and it's up to 99 degrees inside of the cabin. I am dying right now. This is so hot. So I'm gonna call this first test without the sunshades good. So we're gonna get the cabin cooled back down to about 68, 69 degrees, and I'm gonna get some relief from this heat, and then we're gonna get the sunshades installed and see how much better it does. We have the vehicle almost cooled down to 68 degrees again. When I do, I'll do the exact same thing. We'll look at the time, the temperature, the starting temperature inside the cabin. We'll leave it for about eight minutes since that's about all I could take before. It was so damn hot on this car, and we'll see how much better it does if at all. Hopefully it does. That would be great if it did. We'll find out. So we'll see you guys. All right. So as we can see, it is now 3.54 p.m. It's 101 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is hot af for Colorado. 
The interior of the cabin is about 69, 68 degrees, fluctuating back and forth. I do have the wind, the sun shield installed in this main window, as well as in the back window. They fit very well. The quality seems great. The perforation kind of worries me, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna do another eight minutes sitting inside the cabin with no AC and see what temperature we get to. Last time we made it to 99. I'm hoping for anything less than that. That would be awesome. So let's get the AC off. And off we go, it's 3.55 p.m. Okay, so I made an awful choice in clothing today. A cardigan is, uh, yeah, for shooting this video, a terrible, terrible idea. It is so hot inside of this vehicle right now, I am sweating, but it does feel cooler. So, we did just hit the eight minutes, it's now 4.03 p.m., we started at 3.55. It is still 101 degrees outside. The sunshades are still in place and the sun is in relatively the same position. So as you guys saw, last time it was up at 99 degrees. Now it's down to 95 degrees. So in the same eight minutes, in the same almost identical conditions, it's saved about four degrees, which is pretty cool. It's awesome that it helps even in the slightest. I would have liked to see a little bit more. I would have liked to see more of like a reflective material to kind of bounce the light out. However, it does help and it is worthwhile. Um, and it's a really solid product for how much it is. So after this, we're gonna go over its price and also a discount code that you can use to get 20% off. All right, so we've made it back home here. It was so damn hot in the car, so I needed to just cool down, so I left the place that I was. So yeah, we installed the Bouge RV sunshades in both the top roof here and the back window. Uh, these are available on Amazon and in the description below, there's a 20% off discount coupon that you can plug in at checkout. They do work pretty well as we saw in the test. We did two different scenarios, one without them, sitting in the exact same angle over eight minutes and we saw a raise from 69 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, so basically 30 degrees. Then we installed the sunshades in the top and back windows and did the exact same test over eight minutes and we saw a raise from 69 degrees to 95 degrees, so it saved four degrees Fahrenheit in the same amount of time. It does help, it lowers the temperature within the vehicle by several degrees and over a long day, it will likely help as well. These work very well, they fit very well. They also come with some mounting clips that I did not demonstrate that you can, I believe, use double-sided tape and get these to stay more permanently in your roof and back windows if that's something that you do desire. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe below. It truly means the world to me and it is so dang important. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I've got a lot of new content coming your way, including a lot of Tesla Model 3 product reviews and installs. So make sure you stay tuned, and we will see you guys next video.